let me tell you how the process of getting this top because it was a lot it was a lot honestly i don't know what happened to the manufacturing of this hey y'all welcome to my channel as you see by the title this is going to be a collective clothing haul if you like what you see please like comment and subscribe and yeah let's just hop right into it so the first item is actually this top that I'm wearing and it's just this black long sleeve top with this cutout detail and it has Gia across the cutout. It also has little like thumb cutouts to put your thumbs through which I love and yeah it's just a really good top. The quality is nice. It's this thick stretchy material. Definitely one of my favorite tops to throw on. Um, honestly, I've been wearing it a bit too much, but yeah, definitely worth it. I wear it with so many things. Love, love, love this top. So this next top is also from IMGia, and it's just this very, very pretty lilac corset top. So what drew me to this top is the details, to be honest. It has tiger print, leopard print, lace detailing. It's just so cute, y'all. Like... I really, really love throwing this on. One thing I will say is that for the longest, I could not figure out how to unclasp the little like hooks on the front. Like, I don't know, maybe I was having a moment or something, but like I had to keep putting this on over my head because I could not figure out how to open the clasp and I just didn't want to like mess nothing up. But I finally figured it out. Um, so they do unhook. Um, but yeah, love this top so much. It's just the perfect little dainty top. One of my faves. So next I have this corset top from Jaded London. And it's in this denim material. It has Jaded London, like the little JL monogram across the whole corset. There's like this steel plate that has JL for Jaded London at the top. Let me tell you how the process of getting this top because it was a lot. It was a lot, honestly. So I ordered my regular size, which is a US 4. And that's usually what size I order from Jaded London also. So um, consistently, I've been ordering a size 4 with no issues. I received this corset top in a size 4 and I could not it, it, it felt like I was trying to put a size zero on or something. I don't know. I don't know what was going on with the manufacturing of this top. So yeah, I had to return the size four and I didn't go up not just one size. I went up two sizes, y'all. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the manufacturing of this, but besides all of that, I love this top so much. I've had no other issues with it. Love, love, love this top. So next I have this knit sweater. I got it in a small. And if you're into like the grungy Y2K subversive look, you're gonna love this. Like this is definitely a vibe to be honest. I love putting this on. It's comfortable. I love the fit of it. It's like it has this oversized slouchy fit. Like I love that fit when it comes to sweaters. So yeah, that's about it for this piece. All right, so next I have these parachute pants and I got these in a size small. If you watched my previous clothing haul, I was mentioning that I had bought some parachute pants from IMGia, which I still love, but I was saying like I wanted a baggier fit, like I wanted them to be a bit bigger. Y'all, these are so perfect. Like if you're looking for the baggy parachute pants and good quality, Jaded London. I'm telling y'all, Jaded London is where y'all need to look. It's like, these are literally so perfect. They're comfortable. I love the way they just sit on my body. Like, the silhouette of these are just so, so, so nice. I'm so glad I purchased these. I'm definitely going to get them in some other colors too. But yes, love, love, love these so much. All right, so next I have these jeans. And oh my gosh, I love these jeans so much, y'all. Like these are one of my favorite, favorite low rise jeans. I love the wash of these. Like the wash is just very, very appealing to my eye. Very satisfying looking. I like the way the wash complements the brown belt. Like, mm, 
it just meshes together. I love that there's no back pockets. I love that there's a little bit of flair to the jeans, but not too much flair. And I love that they're low rise. I mean, anything low rise, I love to be honest. So these are just right up my alley. I'm so glad I picked these up and I'm ready to spam these. All right, so next are these jeans from H&M. Y'all, let me tell you, I was looking for some dark wash baggy low rise jeans for like the low low and I found some for a good deal. These were on sale for like I think 15 or 20 dollars like not that much at all for how good these jeans are. So yeah for the price they're exactly what I wanted. This was a great pickup. So this denim shirt, denim jacket, um, whatever you guys prefer. <laughs> I got this from H&M as well. I was hoping that this wash matched the wash of the jeans I just showed you guys, but it doesn't. And that made me so upset, but it's okay. Like I don't have to wear them together, but I want it to, but it's okay. Like I can wear them separate. But yeah, once again, we got the dark wash, contrast stitch. I love the boxy oversized Philly Gibbs. It's definitely the vibe I was going for. So glad I got this. So this fur coat is from Zara. And little backstory here. I had a fur coat, black fur coat just like this, but it was just time to get a new one. Like I had that other one for like four to five years and it did its job, but it was just time for a replacement. So I saw this in Zara and I instantly fell in love. Like you can't go wrong with fur in the winter. Like you just can't. All right, so I had to save my favorite clothing piece for last. I finally, finally bought some Ibisu jeans. And I am just so happy I finally saved up and purchased these because y'all, they were completely worth it, I'm telling you. So I bought these off of Grailed in a size 31. And let me tell y'all, I was a little nervous about the sizing, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I wanted it to be baggy, but not too baggy to where like, it looks like I'm literally wearing some grown man's pants. <laughs> But no, they fit really good. I see why it costs this much because the quality is so, so, so good. Like, I'm telling y'all. This particular pair stood out to me because if you didn't know, usually the design on the back is a solid color. But when I saw the back of these, I was like, oh my gosh, is that tiger print? Oh my gosh, I have to get that. So I got it. And it's just so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh, I love these so, so, so much. It's like literally just screaming Y2K and I love that. So definitely my favorite pair of jeans at the moment. So next I'm gonna go over the shoes that I've purchased. And first we have some boots from Akira. So if you know, these are basically very similar to the Balenciaga boots that are probably triple quadruple the price of these. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I had to get them. I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't have to pay $2,000. I can only pay 90 something dollars and get me some boots that look just like the Balenciaga ones. Sign me up. So I went ahead and bought them. They're super comfortable. I did have to size up one size. I'm usually a nine, but I had to get a size 10. But besides that, the quality is nice. I have no complaints, to be honest. Yes, love these so much. All right, so next I have the Kim Jones Converse Collab. And this is how they look. So if you've seen my previous clothing haul, you would have saw that I just recently got the Rick Owens Converse collab. And now look at me. Now when I'm buying the Kim Jones Converse collab, clearly I have a issue. At this point, I think I have a little Converse addiction. Like, I don't know, something about the Converse silhouette is just very appealing like i love the way converse look and then these collabs just be put in like that extra oomph that i be wanting to them so yes i had to get these i love them they're comfortable um for me they're true to size i did see some reviews where people said it wasn't but 
I got my actual size and they fit perfectly fine. If I remember correctly, they weren't super expensive. They were honestly pretty affordable. Yeah, it's not really much else to say about these. I just love them a lot and can't wait to wear them. All right, guys, that's it for this haul. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.